Gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. That's, that's enough of your phony enthusiasm. How dare you? You're patronizing me. Oh, yeah, we're really happy to see you. What they do is they pretend to be happy to see me because you can't see them. They're like, we don't, we hate you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. We hate you. Ha ha. It's, tr it's true. You're the only one that cares. Why am I talking like this? Maybe it's because I really wanted to be an anchor man. That's right. It's a great day for America, everybody. Why? Why not? It's a great day. It's a great day for Brad Pitt. Isn't every day a great day for Brad Pitt? You're like you wake up in the morning and go, oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, woo! Today. Does it matter? No matter what I do, I'll be Brad Pitt. Abs. No, here's the thing. This is true, right? You, I know you might think this is a joke, and you'll think, Craig, why break this run of no jokes with a joke? You'll be there. But no, this is not a joke, right? New genetic research shows that Barack Obama and Brad Pitt are distantly related. I know. I know. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> They're distantly related. And the new DNA testing is amazing. Today I found out I've got a long lost sister. Has you got a picture of her? Where is she? There she is. <laughs> that is a joke. That is a joke. That's not my... That's not my sister. That's me. Look, look again. There I am. <laughs> Oh, I started so promising and then look. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, there's a couple of big celebrity birthdays today. Uh, Elton John and Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh, happy birthday to you. They share a birthday. <laughs> they're, they're very different, of course. One is a sprightly woman with a nice shoes and a great rack. And, uh, and the other one, Sarah Jessica Parker. So right there. I know. <laughs> I know. I know, I know. Haven't you done that joke before? Yes, a million times. What's your point? <laughs> and it was not such a great day for Hillary Clinton. Mm. <laughs> don't you ooh me, you don't even know what it is. <laughs> She's been caught telling a lie. It's not such a big lie, it's just a, it's a teeny weeny lie, but now everyone's up in arms about it. She said that, you know, today, her lie was she still had a chance of winning the nomination. No, that's not what she said. <laughs> No, what she said was that she landed in Bosnia. When she landed in Bosnia 12 years ago, she was dodging bullets and everything. Here's a clip. Here's what she said. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles. <laughs> now, we have an actual video of the arrival in Bosnia 12 years ago. Fair, it is rumoured there was a bullet in that envelope. <laughs> or maybe a bulletin. Maybe just a bulletin. <laughs> or maybe a picture of a cat with underneath it was saying, hang on in there, baby. You know. <laughs> that would be quite dangerous. Anyway, all this happened a long time ago in Bosnia. In case you don't remember, Bosnia is a country that's part of the former Yugoslavia. Do we have a map of Bosnia here? Help us out. The Switzerland there in Arnia. <laughs> Yeah, Sea of Borat down there. It's all, all around that. <laughs> sea of Borat. Now, you know who broke the story on this? Guess. All right, I'll tell you. CBS. What? Yes! Take that, other networks who usually do it. No, CBS! 
CBS broke the story. Uh, they, they couldn't break it on their own, of course. They had, they, they, they had help from an inside source, a journalistic legend, someone whose integrity is above reproach. Do we have a picture of the whistleblower? That's right, Sinbad. <laughs> This is true. This is true. I know you're thinking, is this true? This is true. Sinbrad broke the story. Nothing says great journalism to me. <laughs> like the co-star of Jingle All The Way. Anyway, Sinbad, no, Sinbad went on a, a trip to Bosnia uh, with Cheryl Clo Crow and uh, uh, Cheryl Crow. <laughs> I can't even do my own accent. Uh, Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Stop trying to be Scottish, then maybe you'd be able to understand yourself. Shut up! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Whose side are you on? Me or my imaginary sidekick, Davis? <laughs> my imaginary sidekick, Davis, uh, appeared when I was on flu medication and then went away and then came back when I was on medication for some dental work and then went away and apparently is back again. <laughs> But only I can see him. And we solve mysteries together. Look, shut up. Anyway, the thing is... <laughs> Sinbad... Sinbad uh, went to this Bosnia trip with uh, Sheryl Crow and Hillary Clinton. It's kind of like a... Sounds like a movie of the week in Lifetime or something. <laughs> can a stand-up comedian, a woman rocker and a tough drill sergeant... <laughs> ...heal the war-torn Balkans? <laughs> no. No, they can't. Uh, now, the Hillary Clinton story, it, it's tricky, is what I'm saying, for me, because I try to be even-handed on this show. You know, I don't take sides, especially during a, an election year. But sometimes my gut tells me I have to make a stand. You know, I, even if it is controversial, so I'm going to come right out and say it. I like Sinbad. <laughs> I do! I like Sinbad! I know he's not one of your cool comedians. He's not one of your Harvard guys. I don't care! And Sinbad comes on TV, I see him, and I'm like, I'm not going to like this. He's not cool. <laughs> Sinbad! <laughs> With your crazy people drinking milkshakes thing. That's funny! <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy, though, if Hillary Clinton's campaign was derailed by a comedian? <laughs> it's happened before. When, when John McCain first ran for the Senate, he was called a liar by the most famous comedian of that time, Mark Twain. He called him around the Senate. <laughs> what? That's history. And... Do <laughs> John McCain is actually sympathising with Hillary? He heard the speech about the sniper fire thing, and he's like, Sniper fire? I get that too. Burns like Jiminy. <laughs> and Barack Obama uh, called Hillary today uh, to thank her for distracting everyone away from the whole crazy pastor thing. <laughs> Obama's campaign is all about hope, of course, hoping that Hillary keeps saying stupid crap and getting herself in trouble. <laughs> knows politicians lie, right? It's, uh, we know that, but sometimes it's weirder when they tell the truth. That's right. Look, look at this governor in New York, right? Not the hooker crazy one who just re resigned. <laughs> Not that one. The new governor who's brought in to clean things up. In the last 10 days, he's admitted smoking pot, snorting coke, and having sex with multiple women. No, that didn't all happen in the last 10 days. <laughs> he's just admitted it all in the last 10 days. <laughs> this man is blind. <laughs> How does he know that the other women aren't just his wife? <laughs> How does he know? She may be just putting on different voices. Oh, hello, I'm a sexy blonde from you. I like after I'm from England. I want to go up the barra. Ah. Are you ready for something different tonight? <laughs> All right, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back, everybody.